all right so i want to show you how to do a cut and fill profile like this i will show you how to do it from scratch um from scratch when i mean from scratch i mean from scratch except i will not show you how to get the data because i assume you already have your data essentially you would need your uh coordinates and the elevations of those coordinates i think that's all you need you don't need descriptions or anything so if you have such an excel or csv file then um let's go ahead and see how it's done you can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a thumbs up on this video. Thank you. Okay, so first let's open um, our AutoCAD. I usually work in metric, so just open it. Um, good. Usually it's a heavy software, so it takes some time to load. I think it's loaded good it's loaded so next thing is we import our data so to import your data you can just go to insert points from file and then um, you locate your data I've done videos on this before so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining all these things uh, I'm trying to find a particular data set I can use Pro design no um, I saved one some time ago. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll no. Alright, so I'm going to use this one, this contour point nothing eastern Z. Now this is a particular format format. It means that my data is in this format. Let me just open it for you to view. It means my data is in this format. Uh, Alright, so this is the point number, the nothing eastern set. I don't have descriptions. Okay. Good. So I'm just going to load this. Now you may not be able to find that kind of um, organization here, so you might have to create your own organization. You can check the video I recorded about it in my AutoCAD playlist. And you can see how I did it. But we are going to use point northings east things z comma delimited delimited because it's a CSV file, right? And then we import it so you can see it has aligned to that format. I would just add it into a group so that I don't have to struggle. I'll call this raw data. And then I can OK to add it. Now I'll just press Z to zoom and then E to zoom to extent. Right? So you see we have our data here. This is data of a particular field all right? or a particular area. Now the next thing we will do is we will add our surface. Okay, so to add a surface, you have to create a new one because um, all these have been recorded. I've recorded videos on how to do these things, existing surface. So please check on the AutoCAD playlist and see how it's done in case you're having issues. All right? AutoCAD playlist. Now we are going to add the coordinates to the... We're going to add the coordinates to the surface i'm going to use the raw data raw data coordinates now um so basically this is that creating a surface is very simple the next thing is our road alignment okay so um let's say so we define the location of our road so we just create an alignment okay so to create an alignment let me see let me go back to home and then use the alignment creation tools to create an alignment all right now i'm going to call this one existing 
road alignment maybe it's just some dead road or something i don't know uh, in this case it's going to be an existing road that's the kind of style we're going to use and we don't really need a lot of i think i'll just use the major major minor it's okay major minor is good we don't need a lot of descriptions otherwise it will make the whole thing messy all right so we hit enter and then now over here you have the option to choose alignment with low curves or to create an alignment with curves all right so i'm just going to do something like this to create my road that's an alignment with curve and just hit enter to end it there maybe that's the road is some curvy road or something yeah I think with this we are done with the road alignment you can zoom in to view or inspect it so you can see it's uh, from 0 to what is that 800 from 0 to 480 okay I think it's it's fighting with a contour in terms of uh, anyway we will not be using this label so so from 0 to 480 we have an alignment the next thing we have to do so you see we have a profile I mean we have a surface and we have an alignment what it means is we can create a profile from it right so we go to profile to create a surface profile right so with us we use the existing road alignment we just created this one here and then the surface that's the surface in the background to create a profile okay um now you can choose to draw in view but for now i want to go systematically okay so i think uh that's it right Mm -hmm. all right so it has been completed now if you want to view the profile you go to the profile view okay so create a profile view here now what i want to do is i want to give it a name maybe if you know the road name good if you don't know let me just say kenyst curve kenyst curve main curve or something main curve that doesn't sound like a good name anyway so the profile view i'll use the land desktop profile view because it's it makes it clearer for me to view all right you can next and do all those stuff but i think i'll show you how to edit and do all those things later so let's just go ahead and create the profile view now it's asking you to put it in a particular location so i'm just going to find an empty space like this and i put it there right so over here we have our profile view now um next thing you would want to do is to create your proposed um, profile right so like let's say the road it's it's not very smooth and all that and you want to i mean you know why we create profiles so you want to create your own proposed profile so to go ahead and draw your second profile all you have to do is you come back to profile creation tools here hit on it now it's going to ask you to you can see select profile view this is the profile view so i'm going to select on it and then it's going to ask you the name of the second profile you're trying to create so i'm going to call it what um let me say proposed design proposed design profile right and what profile style will they use you can see it's a design profile so it's cool right um yeah we'll use the complete set because this is going to be the design profile so at the end of the day you'd want to have everything shown now when we hit okay we get the chance to draw our profile with curves you can see that you, you have to introduce curves a lot of vertical curves here so um by the way you can make curve settings in case you need to make any settings all right i'm not going to dive into that i'm just going to leave it to your discretion so I'm selecting profile draw tangents with curves okay did I select on it tangents with curves good so at zero zero well it's going to be zero zero now I come here and I hit okay and then I move it so you can see it's actually giving me a certain kind of uh, curve so I'm going to take it or accept it just so that I don't make it look that's a lot of fail you know the designing part i'm going to leave to you because it's it's not a general thing it depends on 
the engineer the specifications of your project and the kind of um, topography you have for your road so i'm not going to spend too much time analyzing what is what i'm just going to do it and then hope you figure it out at your end so yeah all right looks like my hand is shaky that's a very sharp slope but anyway no no all right then when i'm done i hit enter and then we have um two profiles now you can see we have two profiles now uh yeah the one on, the one in blue is the proposed the one in red is our existing profile i'm sure if you hover over it to give you information right looks like one of it is on top of the other anyway so now down here you can see this band here this band is uh, originally showing uh cut and fill but we need to make some edits to it okay i'll show you how to do that but first let's um let's let's make the view the profile view look a bit nicer because it looks messy all right so i'm going to select on it here and then you can see profile view properties right uh let's go to edit profile styles now i would just clip the vertical see to remove all the vertical lines and clip the horizontal also to remove the horizontal lines that makes it a bit neater in my opinion you can edit the title if you need to i think here right yeah you can edit the title if you need to um all these you may not need to use or edit but let's just say you probably want to show labels on the left and on the right of 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 your okay for now you can see that all the labels are on the left you might want to show all the labels on the right also so you can see um left axis annotation is on left axis minor no no minus where's the right axis right axis annotation is off so you might want to show it just in case you like this but i think it's it's okay let me just leave it all these uh may not be necessary you just have to, maybe you should just come around and see exactly what you may want to do with it and then but for me it's just the clipping i wanted to do and then that's it all right okay um so you may also want to hide this one this other this other um is that it yeah you may also want to hide this other slope uh this other design okay so in this case you come to profile not profile view you come to profile um should i say let me check properties no profile style right sometimes i get confused between the two all right i think i'm on the wrong profile which profile is this because they are overlaying each other this is the proposed profile i need to find the existing profile i need to um find a good good this one i didn't select the right profile so when i select on the profile i'm actually interested in i want to hide the existing profile okay oh so i go to the profile styles and then you can see hide line or basically 10 of all these okay to just hide everything about it all right and i think uh we are good to go so now you have your you have only the proposed profile showing the next thing you would want to do is we want to show the cut and fill bands okay so um for the cut and fill band, first you need to click on the profile okay then you go to profile view properties it's going to tell you to select the graph so you select the graph okay all right and then you hit on enter then it's going to bring you to the bands or i don't know where to start from but you have the options to um 
choose the type of profile and all those things but let me just come back to the bands okay now in the bands here we have what do you have we have the elevation bands or the elevations uh we are only going to use for the i'm sure you would want to print this at the end of the day so you would only show information about this proposed design so we want the elevations like this information here to show the elevation of um the proposed design at every station okay so i'm just going to use proposed design in both in profile one and profile two so we don't get any conflicts okay all right it's it would it would have updated you can close and look at it but let's just finish here then the next thing you would want to add is a cut band okay so a cut data i click on cut and then it asks me to select my profile one my profile one is the existence so i select on the existence okay and i hit enter oh, okay and then profile two just on that same cut band you can see on that same cut data band you come to profile two and select your proposed profile so that it will overlay them on each other and find the differences i've just applied so you can see that where there are cuts it will show you there are cuts we can do the same for fill right so fill data here add it the profile one is the existing you come down and add profile 2 here in this case profile 2 is the proposed design so you can see where there are fills it shows you there are fills now you can see there's some gap here you may want to fill that gap so that it looks like it's one so uh, I think there's a place called gap yeah here so I'll just type 0 here okay and then apply good so now they look less clumsy oh. Maybe let's put two. All right, this is fine. Okay, so I think with this you can hit OK and close. Um, nothing much to show here. All right. So if you inspect it, you see that where there are no fills or cuts, it's zero up, zero down, zero up, zero down. Where there are cuts, remember the the blue one is the fill and the red one is the cuts. Where there are cuts, like in this case, you see there are no fills. Where there are no uh, where there are fills in this case, you see there are no cuts. So that's how you interpret it. Now when you also come here, you see that it's giving. Actually, the first one always rounds it up. I'm not sure. I'm yet to uh, investigate why. The first part which stands originally would have stood for the existing and then the proposed so it always rounds it up but essentially it means the same thing you just have to know to use the one with most precision okay so it's the same thing but use the one with most precision and they are all talking so at every station at station 40 this is the elevation at station 80 this is the elevation okay yeah all right so i think that's how to do it Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you uh, if you like the video or if it was helpful to you. And let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you want me to do another video like this. Or if you have questions, you can let me know. Alright, so that's it. See you another time.